Hello everybody, we are going to be doing a series review today over the Boston Bruins Florida Panthers series and let's just get on into it. Game 1, uh, before this game started off very weird is the Bruins seemed to be dealing with something and it was a bug of some kind. Looked like a lot of guys were going to be out including Omar and Swayman, it really just seemed like Bergeron was out of this but in the beginning of this game it looked like the... Issues from all that didn't affect him as David Pasternak took a really one nothing lead or gave the Bruins an early one nothing lead. Marshan extended the lead later on to make it 2 to nothing. Then we did see Matthew Kachuk get a goal to make it 2 to 1 for the Panthers. But to close out this period, Jake DeBrusque ended up taking a little life out of Florida by making it 3 to 1 in the final period. And this one would be the final goal of the game as the Bruins took a one nothing series lead and did so, of course. With a lot of their guys not necessarily feeling well and they were still able to pick up a big win in the first game of this round. Game 2 and this is of course still in Boston as there was no goals in the first period which is surprising considering the final score we saw. Uh, in the second period we then saw 4 goals scored between the two and that was with them alternating with Sam Bennett starting off the high scoring affair. It was all tied up though for the two teams after two, two to two after two. Unfortunately for Boston, Brendan Montour gave the Cats the lead with 22 seconds left in the third period, which was you know, part of a string of four consecutive goals for Florida as they took a six to nothing lead with little to no time left for Boston comeback. Taylor Hall did score a goal with hardly over a minute left in the game as the Panthers end up winning this one six to three and impressively didn't score a single one of those goals on the man advantage in this one and Boston manages just eight shots in the third period and the series is tied up at one apiece. Game three, the first game down in Florida and heading into this game it was locked up at 1L for both sides and both of them are desperately looking to avoid a 2-1 to one series deficit more so I think Florida especially the fact that they're at home. Taylor Hall though helped out his team with their anxiety a bit by scoring a goal with just a little over two minutes in the first period and Charlie Coyle scored another one for Boston as they ended up taking a 2-0 lead and we saw them in this period for the Bruins out shoot Florida 12 to 4 going into the break. The third period saw four goals happen, but unfortunately for the Panthers, two of those were from Pasta and Nick Foligno to give their opponent a 4 0 lead in the game before they responded with two goals for themselves, that being 4 to 2. We did see a lot of action here in this one, but the Bruins, of course, were able to win this one in a short field for a shot filled the yes, third period uh, with both teams combining for 35 shots in total 66 total shots for the game 35 shots in the third period doesn't matter though Boston wins this one 4-2 to two to take a 2-1 series lead and then coming into this game we saw the Florida Panthers get a little bit of good news as Sergei Bobrovsky was able to come back and make his series debut for the team good news considering they'd been using a third string goalie for the first few games of this series but early on it looked like Boston was going to give him a little bit of trouble as they got two power play goals past him in the first 22 minutes to take a 2 to nothing lead Matthew Kachuk did end up getting a goal for himself to make it a 2 to 1 game and then the two sides traded goals in the third period before Boston ultimately scored three unanswered goals, one of those being an empty netter to win this one 6-2 to two, to take a commanding 3-1 to one series lead. Florida, of course, now has to win three in a row in order to be able to advance on to the second round. And this was really unfortunate, too, as the Panthers did outshoot the Bruins 43-30, to 30, and they're outshooting Boston at every period. And we do know Boston is okay with being outshot as long as they get better chances. Still, kind of unfortunate for the Panthers. Game 5 in Boston, Florida is down 3-1. to one. This is a must-win game, but finally in this series, some good news for the Bruins. On top of the good news they already have being up 3-1, to one, Patrice Bergeron is going to make his series debut. And for Boston, this feels like this could be a for sure win. The Panthers, though, get an early lead with an Anthony Duclair goal. Both sides do end up getting a goal apiece. Bergeron then later on scores his first uh, postseason power play goal for this one. About 45 seconds later, Sam Reinhart responded with a goal of his own on the man advantage to take the lead back. Taylor Hall did tie this game up halfway through the third, and we got to see some overtime. But the man the Boston fans probably despise more than anyone right now, that is Matthew Kachuk, said he didn't give a Kachuk and decided to end this game with a goal to send this series back down to South Florida. And so we get to see a game six down near Miami. 
Game six in Florida. Is this the craziest game of this round? I don't know, but the final score was crazy. We saw the two sides go a combined five for eight on the power play, and let's rattle through each period. In the first, Florida scored two. Boston scored once to make it two to one for the home side. Two goals were scored by each team, one by each team, I should say, to make it a three to two game with the score after two periods not being anything crazy. Then the third period happened and things got a little bit more wild. Boston scored two goals to make it four to three. They're in a spot where they can win this game before Florida ties it up to make it four to four. Jake DeBrus scores with less than 10 minutes left to give the Bruins a five to four edge. So you're thinking if they can just hold on to this lead here, they're gonna be done with this series and they can move on to the second round and focus on that not so fast as the Panthers score three unanswered goals in this final stretch of play to win this one in a wild affair seven to five and push this series to seven games. Game seven, this is do or die for both sides. And of course, Matthew Kachuk promised that they would get here and we see the Bruins end up making a change in net before this game and that is Jeremy Swayman put in over Linus Olmark and that probably was the right decision considering how Olmark had struggled a little bit at times in this series but this game may go down as one of the most historic games in NHL history for a first round matchup in a long time. Florida, one of the biggest underdogs in NHL history in a series, goes up two to nothing in this game. They're feeling really good, and it seems like all hope is lost for Boston before David Krejci scores a goal to get the Bruins on the board, and then the Bees actually take a three to two lead in this one in the third, and it looks like things are gonna go their way. They're gonna win this one. There's about a minute left to go. Brennan Montour scores his second of the game for the Florida Panthers. The second of the game with about a minute left to go to send this one in overtime. Surely Boston will be able to avoid blowing the 3-1 series lead not so fast as the legend, the beautician that is Carter Verhege scores the game-winning series winning goal to send the Panthers to the second round for Boston. This is probably the most pain you would say you're going to be in for a long time, possibly ever. They have had some heartbreakers along the way, but I do know that they had lost three games in a row all season until now and will go down as one of the best, if not the best team to never win a Stanley Cup. And there's a lot of weird things that went on in this series, a lot of stretches where Florida was able to, uh, you know, kind of take advantage of some late goals when Boston had the lead, specifically in game six and game seven. But at the end of the day, it was Florida that really brought the fight to them. For the Panthers, this wasn't easy, but it was well earned. And this series started out with them using a third string goalie. They ended up going back to Bob, who I do want to say for all the flack he's got, now has been part of two first round wins for the team in the past two seasons. But in the end of the day, too, they were able to score those goals late. They were able to topple this Mighty Bruins team when nobody else expected them to do it, and they do so by winning in Boston in Game 7 in overtime. That is the perfect script, and now they go on to the second round for the second consecutive year as they take on the Toronto Maple Leafs, another team that, of course, has a great storyline brewing for them. Who will win that series? That is going to be something we talk about in tomorrow's season preview, or series preview. I think it'll be tomorrow's that I put it out well before the game. But anyway, we will leave it off for this one. What were your thoughts on the series? Make sure to leave those thoughts down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you go with all key all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.